Jack Armstrong here. Hey to all my friends in the great eight graduating class at Byron Southwood School. Bonjour! Hey, just want to reach out to you, let you know I'm thinking about you and say congratulations, congratulations on graduation from the eighth grade. Uh, I tell you what, your parents, your teachers, the school, they're so proud of you and, and I'm so proud of you because this year has been unlike any other. I mean, it's just been so difficult, so challenging. And for each and every one of you to be so flexible and have such wonderful attitudes and so awesome in your approach and willing to try new things and, and learn to the best of your ability, to me, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, I, I, you should be so proud of yourselves because, uh, you know, I, I, let's hope and pray that next year we're not dealing with any of this. And I want to wish each and every one of you and your families all the best. You know, what do they say? The night is always darkest just before the dawn. Better days ahead. We're getting through this. Onward and upward we go. But a big reason why we're going to get through this is because each and every one of you have maintained your focus and you've been positive and you've worked hard and you've had great attitudes. What do they say? 10% in life is what happens to us. 90% is how we deal with it, right? And we control that 90%. And that's that positive attitude. The glass is half full, not half empty. And maintaining that, that desire to keep moving forward. And you're going to do that. So be proud, be excited. And your future is just great. You know, and I want to wish each and every one of you all the best in your future. And always remember, um, excellence is a habit not an act. Remember that. Excellence is a habit, not an act. You got to do it every day. You got to work at it. You got to grind. You got to put the time in. And each of you know that already because you've put so much time in this year and it's been so challenging, but your habits, your, your foundation that your wonderful teachers and the great folks at the school have, uh, have helped you a lot. And uh, go Spitfires, the best school in Byron and even London. And to the great eight graduation, uh, cl graduating class, I'm going to finish with this one thing, and that's this, okay? Uh, my mom is my hero. My mom's 94 years old. I call her every day, and she's everything in my life to me. And at the end of the conversation, I always finish with the three most magical words you can say to somebody, and that is, I love you. And I want each and every one of you grade eight, grade eight graduates to reflect on that, because each and every one of you have people in your life that have sacrificed for you. Your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your teachers, your coaches, people that really care for you and want to see you do well. I want you to do me a favor. When graduation day is upon you, I want you to turn to those people in your life that mean a lot to you and say thank you and show your appreciation and tell them how much you love them. Because I tell you what, you never know what you have until you don't have it anymore. This ain't a dress rehearsal. We get one chance and one chance to do it right. Let's do it right. So let's make sure we thank those wonderful people in our life and make sure you let them know how much you appreciate them, how much you love them, and make them proud. God bless each and every one of you. All the best as you go forward into high school. And as I mentioned earlier, better days ahead. Graduation, how sweet it is. How sweet it is. All the best. Peace.